Well, EST is a necessary project because the sun is our nearest star. It's very important that we <coughs> understand it more, both for the sun itself, understanding the sun itself, and also because it's an excellent laboratory. And European solar physics is really at the forefront internationally. We're leading. And in order to keep that position and also play that role in the future, we have to have this next generation facility available for European solar physics, and that is the EST. Well, one of the problems that we're faced with in, in understanding the sun is a coupling. We know that there is a lot of energy in the interior, in the convection zone, and then uh, we have some of that energy is transported to the outer areas where it's heating up the chromosphere and the corona, but exactly how that is done, we don't know. And really to couple, to understand that, we have to measure the magnetic fields. And the EST is specially designed for measuring magnetic fields, especially in the outer part of the atmosphere, something that we haven't been able to do before. Well, it would be wonderful if we could have a four meter telescope up in space, but it's just not affordable. So we can afford to have much bigger instrumentation on the ground and we can afford then to go and change the instrumentation. EST is planned for a very long lifetime, but we will then have a development of instruments that we can change. You cannot do that out, up in space. But on the other hand, in space you don't have the Earth's atmosphere, so they're really complementary. From the space we can observe larger areas for very long time spans. And from the ground we can make much more detailed observations than from space. Well, my special research field is the solar chromosphere. So it is the area that is one of the main areas for the EST. So it will be a wonderful facility for my own personal research, where we can really go into measuring the magnetic fields in the chromosphere to study things like how solar explosions are built up and how they are triggered and things that are really also important for sort of space weather and the influence on the Earth. Oh, we will, would very much like to be involved in the project, so we are in the process of uh, preparing and applying for infrastructure funds. So we certainly uh, are involved in, in the science side, but uh, we have good hopes of also contributing to the uh, funding of the whole project. I mean, we have, uh, there have been uh, very many campaigns to find the best observing conditions on Earth for telescopes in general. And one of them that has come up repeatedly is the Canary Island, Islands of Tenerife and La Palma. So the, the existing telescopes are here for that reason and also it's the ideal place for the European Solar Telescope. It's uh, probably the best place in the whole world.